Hey there, my name is Adrian with Project Ramos and on this channel I like to do tech unboxings and tech reviews so if you're into that type of content consider subscribing. Today I'm going to be unboxing some mobile computing products. I've got a Android tablet, I've got two portable monitors, I have a mini PC and the hardware to go with it, mounting hardware, and then I also have a laptop that we're going to be unboxing here we're going to get started with the android tablet it's a 10.1 inch but before we get started here uh, if you're watching the recorded version of this broadcast either on facebook or youtube i encourage you to follow me on amazon because that is where you're going to get the best viewing experience uh, you'll be able to shop all the products that we're uh, unboxing uh, live just as we're uh, discussing them uh, live and then you can also watch the uh, recorded version after the fact and still shop the products right in the carousel so if you are on Facebook or YouTube join us over on Amazon and if this is your first time watching on Amazon uh, this is the ty type of content that I tr uh, I like to do here on Amazon live I like to uh, do tech unboxings and uh, the type of tech that I like to look at is things that are either very useful or interesting where they have a different take on uh, the typical products that you see out there. So if that is the type of content that you're into, I encourage you to follow me on Amazon and I'm just getting my chat room here set up and uh if you are watching let me know in the uh, in the chat room that way i can say hi to you if you have any questions on any of the products uh that we're unboxing here feel free to uh ask me in the chat and we will discuss them all right so let's go ahead and grab the first product and it's this guy right here it's a 10.1 inch android tablet now uh what caught my attention on this is the fact that, uh, well, first of all, it has a, a, a fairly large screen, 10.1 10 10 inch. The majority, what I find is that the majority of people, um, this is all you need. It's just a simple tablet to be able to look at web pages, you know, uh, go through web pages, check your email, and then also, you know, maybe, uh, uh, that's, you know, just real basic computing functions. Uh, watch Netflix, watch YouTube. Uh, that's pretty much it. You know, the majority of people, that's all you do on your devices. Most people don't actually need full-blown computers, either desktop computers or laptops. A simple tablet is good enough for consuming content. So I wanted to check this one out just to see if this is a good um, tablet to use for uh, consumption, you know, to be able to look at web pages, check email, uh, go on YouTube, uh, maybe watch some Netflix uh, shows or even Amazon Prime Video, uh, any of those type of uh, services, Hulu, whatever have you. It, and uh, so I want to test this one out and see how well it does. And again, um, that's another reason why it's a good idea to follow me on Amazon because once I am done reviewing this product, I am going to upload a full review on it so you can check that out on my page. Let me switch over to our overhead cam and uh, let's see here. See some folks already logged in on Amazon. Don't be shy. Let me know that you're here in the chat room. That way I can say hi to you. I always like to know who is watching and let's see switch over to all right so let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed and see what we get in the box now this is a very generic android tablet but as i said the majority of people they're just consuming content you don't need anything fancy you know uh, ipads are really great 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 products but they are expensive uh not everybody can afford an ipad so that's where this comes into play here Personally, I'm a big fan of uh, iPads. Matter of fact, I'm, that's what I'm using here to switch between cameras. Uh, but I do um, understand that not everybody can afford how expensive these iPads are. So let's take a look and see what we get in the box in terms of accessories. And uh, okay, so that is it for inside the box. If you guys have any questions on anything that we're unboxing here, let me know in the chat room and we can definitely discuss while we're live here all right so as far as accessories go we're going to get the charging cable here it's a usb type a to usb type c let me get this camera in a little bit 
So you can see that there, USB type A, USB type C, and then you're going to also get the charging brick, uh, which is going to be AC on that side and then USB type A on this end. So that is it for that. And then you also get the user's guide for the tablet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, zoom back out and let's take a look at this tablet here. And here it is here as the protective cover. It's a 10.1 inch uh, IPS display, uh, 30 or three gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of uh, storage space. It has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. And then it does have uh, cameras. Uh, front camera is a two megapixel, rear camera is eight megapixel. As I said, uh, spec wise, this isn't gonna be anything spectacular, however, if all you need is to be able to browse the internet, check your email, maybe even listen to some music, um, and even uh, watch a movie like through Netflix, uh, this is going to be plenty. All right, so you can see here the display does have a, looks like a protective cover on it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to peel that off, but I'm going to leave it on for now until I check that user's manual. And then uh, on the side here, you get uh, volume up, volume down. Looks like we get a power button there. This is a cover. Looks like it has expansion for an SD card there. And then here is a USB Type-C charging port there. On the flip side, there's nothing there. On the bottom, uh, looks like there's uh, vent holes here for speakers. So one here, one here. Top side, uh, looks like there is a headphone jack here. And then uh, obviously on the front here, you got the front facing camera there. On the back side, we get the rear camera here. Looks like there's two lenses there. I'm going to have to test that out. And then the uh, flash there. Um, and that is it. So very basic. As I said, uh, these devices, um, you know, they're low cost. Uh, but the majority of people, if all you're going to be doing is consuming content, this is more than enough. Uh, you don't need anything super fancy. And uh, if you take a look at the uh, item in the carousel. You can see this is a very low cost item. So what I'm going to do is get this set up, uh, not right now, but I'll get this set up and then um, test it out and see how well it does for media consumption and general use. And then I'll upload my full review on this guy uh, once I get a chance to play around with it for a little while. All right, let's move on to the next product. If you guys have any questions on any of this, let me know in the chat room and we can discuss. Uh, otherwise, um, if you are watching here live, I see some folks tuned in on Amazon. Let me know that you're here. That way I can say hi to you. All right, we're moving on to a this portable monitor. Now, what caught my attention is the size. This thing is a, I think it's 10 inch. Let me, whoa, lost my cursor there. Well, let me look it up here real quick. Yeah, it's a 10.5 inch monitor. So this is a small monitor. Now, I wanted to check this one out because I do run into situations where um, sometimes I do need to get a monitor in place, but I don't want it to take up a lot of space. So I don't, you know, typically portable monitors are on average about uh, 15 inch monitors. And sometimes that's too big, you know. Sometimes I need just a smaller monitor to be able to place in a, in a real small area, but I don't want it to be a real tiny screen. I need something a little bit bigger than those typical uh, video, uh, ca uh, video camera monitors uh, that you see. Um, so this one being 10 and a half inch, I thought would be perfect for those situations. So let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed and see how this one looks. All right, so right off the top here, let me zoom out a little bit. And again, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat room here. And uh, so we get the user's manual. Now, as far as the specs on it, it it's uh, full HD, so 1920 by 1280. I, it's an IPS screen. So it's going to be a, should be a very good quality screen. And before we take a look at the monitor, let's see the accessories that we get with this. 
All right, so we've got a USB cable. It's USB A to USB C. And then we also get a USB C to USB C. And we also get HDMI. It looks like a I forget the uh, the call out, but this is a regular size HDMI to the mini HDMI. All right, so that is it for the contents of what you get in the box. Set that to the side. Let's take a look at the monitor now. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat room. That way we can discuss. All right, very cool. It has a cover. And, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry if I'm killing your ears there. Looks like this cover is magnetic. So, or, yeah, it is magnetic, so it'll grab onto the screen. So here's a screen here. There is a screen protector on it right now. I'm not going to peel it off here, but uh, there is a screen protector. And uh, let's see. So this monitor is attached to this uh, cover here but the cover does come off it is magnetic so now let's take a look at the monitor here so here is a ten and a half inch uh, display there up on the top there's nothing there at the bottom nothing there on this side we've got the uh, USB type C a second USB type C and the uh, mini HDMI uh, connector there on the flip side, we've got a return button there, a menu uh, rocker switch here, and then a headphone jack there. And then on the back side, now this is what really, what I really found interesting. Okay, so first of all, you get, uh, it looks like two speakers here, one here, one here, but it has a visa mount here. So that is really one of the features I was looking forward to because I do have monitor arms uh, or poles set up on my desk to be able to mount different things onto that onto my desk. So um, I am looking to put a visa mount on this and then attach it to my um, monitor pole there and then use this as a monitor for these broadcasts. So and then also. I love the fact that it is, you know, small, portable, and if need be, I can pull it off and then use this. Uh, let me flip my camera over. See the smart cover here, or not smart cover, but this, uh, this magnetic cover here also can be used as a stand. So you can hold the monitor at this angle or this angle. Very cool. All right, so... What I found with portable monitors is if you do plug them in through USB type C, uh, you're going to be able to power the monitor off of the one cable alone. Uh, but if you have to plug in through HDMI, um, you can use one of the USB type C ports to be able to uh, power up the monitor. All right. So I'm going to be testing this monitor out, see how good the quality is on the display. And then once I get a chance to play around with it for a little while, I will be uploading a full review on my Amazon page. So definitely follow me there uh, if you want to check out my final thoughts on this product. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat room. And our next product is a another portable monitor but this one is the typical full size 15 point i think it's a 15.6 inch uh monitor yeah 15.6 inch and this one is full hd 1080 and it's this guy right here and uh i love having uh portable monitors especially um for traveling you know uh I can get away, you know, there's no issue to um, work off with just my laptop monitor, but I'm a lot more productive having more than just a laptop monitor. So to be able to add a portable monitor, especially a 15.6 inch monitor onto, to be able to extend my laptop screen is very a very productive thing for me. Um, helps me quite a bit. Now, as far as the specs go, as I said, it's a 15.6 inch. It's an IPS display um, 
one and a half pounds. Uh, let's see here. Um, what other? And it does have built-in speakers. So let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed so we can see what we get in the box here. All right. If you guys have any questions let me know in the chat room and if you let me know that you are watching looks like we have some folks in on amazon let me know in the chat room that you're here that way i can say hi to you I'm trying to build up this amazon community you know i really love going live on here uh, i'm really passionate about uh, tech electronics i'm a tech enthusiast so uh, i go live quite often on Amazon to unbox new products. Matter of fact, I went live earlier uh, and unboxed a few things that I had here. I still have a ton of products to to unbox. I have a lot of photography stuff I'm going to be getting to. Also, I have a um, let me see some lighting, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so we get a like a quick start guide here. And then we get the user's manual here. Let's see what else we get in the box. Let's set the monitor to the side for now so we can take a look at the uh, accessories. All right. Uh, so we get a USB type A to USB type C cable. We also get a fully uh, regular HDMI to mini HDMI. I don't know if it's called mini or micro. Uh, I always get confused with those. But the smaller HDMI. Hey, what's going on, Dave? What's going on, Rachel? Thank you guys for tuning in. Right on, man. Uh, let's see. We also get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable here. Man. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Uh, let's see here. And then we've got the charging brick here to USB type A. All right. That's it for the accessories there. So now let's take a look at the monitor. All right. It's got a protective cover. I'm not going to peel that off right now. I'm a stickler for fingerprints on monitors. So I try to be real careful. So let's start with the top. The top doesn't have anything there. The bottom has nothing there. Uh, on this side, there is nothing there. And then on the flip side is where all our connections are going to be. So we've got a uh, power button here. But we got a rocker switch here for the menus. We got a USB type C charging port there. HDMI, I think it's the micro or mini. I can't remember the name of it, but HDMI port there. Another uh, USB type C port here, but this one is the data port. So you're going to, uh, that's where the video is going to go through there and then a headphone jack here now on the back we've got uh, speakers so we got two speakers here left and right and then we've got a kickstand here to be able to hold the monitor let's see how we can get this out of here all right so there it is there so it's a little kickstand to be able to hold this monitor at its viewing angle. Very cool. And I think this monitor, I'm not mistaken, but I believe you can also put it in this orientation. Yeah, you can. So if you want to use a monitor in vertical or, uh, orientation, you can do that as well, which is very cool. Uh, that comes in handy for a variety of things if you're uh, coding. Um, having a vertical monitor comes in clutch. And then also if you're doing any kind of editing, whether it's photo editing or video editing, uh, to be able to throw uh, your scopes or histograms and all, all the different tools like that off to the side in a vertical uh, in, a, in a vertical orientation comes in clutch as well. All right, so that is it for the monitor. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this monitor or any of the products that we've unboxed so far, and then we can discuss it. We're going to move on to the mini PC. Now, I kind of gave my little uh, soapbox explanation earlier with the Android tablet, but uh, if you weren't here for that, uh, one of the things that I find is a majority of people don't need super, uh, 
you know, uh, in, in terms of computers or even tablets, they don't need like these super high performance machines. The majority of people just look at web pages, check email, maybe watch uh, some videos on YouTube or Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or, you know, that's it. It's just a consumption device. And for that, um, real basic machines can handle it with no issue. And this mini PC spec wise isn't super souped up, but price, that's why it makes it so affordable. And if you don't, you know, if you're not into the, um, you know, you don't want to get a laptop, you don't want to get a tablet, but you do want a desktop, but you don't want to have one of those huge towers, you know, on your desk. This is the way to go here. Just grab a mini PC. What's cool about these two it also is that they're small enough where you can buy brackets that where you can mount this behind your monitor. It'll be like a double piece amount. So one end goes on onto your monitor. The other end goes on to the piece that holds your monitor, which is a very cool way to kind of tuck it away so that you don't even see it. So let's get this guy unboxed. This one in terms of specs, we're looking at a, let me see, I believe it's an Intel uh, Celeron processor, eight gigs of RAM. So it's not a lot of RAM, but I said, like I said, as a consumption device, it's plenty. Um, let me see, in terms of the drive, the internal drive, it's a 256 gig SSD. SSD, which is a plus 256 gigs, eh, you know, but again, as a consumption device, plenty no problem there um the hdmi ports do support 4k so if you do have 4k monitors you're going to be able to plug those into this mini pc so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we get in the box so here is the pc i'm going to set this aside for a second i don't know what accessories this might come with so let's take a look as i suspected not much all right so we get the user's manual and then we get the power adapter here. And that's another plus on these mini PCs. They draw very little power. So you can literally leave, leave this on operating, never turn it off, and it's not going to uh, kill your PG&E. Uh, all right, so then we get an HDMI to HDMI. And then we get a bracket here. Looks like maybe this is a mounting bracket for the little mini PC. All right, let's take a look and see. Here it is here. As I said, it's an Intel, I believe it's a Celeron CPU. So it is an Intel chip at least. And then uh, in terms of uh, the buttons here. So on the front side here, nothing there, nothing here. On this side, we've got the power button here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little easier. Got the power button here. You got a USB type A, USB type A, USB type A. It looks like these are USB 3.0 ports and this one's a 2.0 port. On the back, you got another, uh, you got the DC power input there, USB 2.0 port there, two HDMI ports. So you're gonna be able to run dual monitors off of this mini PC. And then you've got the um, Ethernet cable here, and I think it's a gigabit Ethernet. Uh, I have to look into that, but I'm pretty sure it's a gigabit Ethernet uh, port there. And then you've got a port here that is a dual port, so you can either use it for headphones or a mic, or you can put one of those combo ones where you can have the mic and headphone all in one. And then you've got the, um, the little uh, safety piece here. I forget what they're called. Uh, starts with the K. But anyways, you can lock this on your desktop if you wanted to. And that is it for that. And then at the bottom, you've got a locking slider here. And then uh, let's see, looks like we can take this plate off. So uh, you might be able to, and I believe you're gonna be able to swap out the internal hard drive. So if 256 is not gonna be enough for you, you, you should be able to upgrade that. But I'll look into that. Um, and then uh, in my full review, I'll provide that information, whether or not uh, you can upgrade any of the components inside of this mini PC. And then you got rubber feet here. So if you are going to put this on your desktop, it's going to be able to hang on pretty well there. And uh, it's got a pretty cool little logo there. It's kind of metallic looking. Very cool. And then the heat sink, you can see it right here. So it runs all the way around the computer. 
Now, another plus on these um, mini PCs, and the reason I, I, I know this is because I'm actually using a mini PC as we speak. As a matter of fact, uh, check it out, Dave, if you're still watching, Dave and Rachel. So see how your, uh, your comment showed up there on, on the screen? I'm using a mini PC to be able to do that with. And uh, that's why I wanted to bring in a second one because I've got some other uh, some other tasks that I need to um, use a mini PC for. And this one I'm going to plan on setting it up as a server. So uh, I have a bunch of movies uh, converted to um, MPEG-4 files and I'm running a Plex server. So I'm going to install Plex on here hook up the external drive with all my uh, converted movies on there, and then I'll be able to stream to all my TVs at home here using this PC. And being that it hardly draws any power, you know, I can just leave this running indefinitely and uh, always have that server ready to go whenever we want to watch a movie that's on it. So it's a very cool little product here bunch of different ways that you can use it and like I said you know in terms of the uh, power on it you know it, it's if you're gonna be doing video editing or photo editing this isn't the one to use but for general task it's fine all right looks like we got someone else here uh, Beth I'm not yeah don't okay you don't want, uh, Beth, you don't want to spam in the chat room. Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, uh, ban your comment or um, mute your comments there. So let's stick to the products that we're looking at here. All right, this next one, uh, before we get into the uh, laptop, which is going to be the last item here. Oh, got a pincher bug. Jeez, hold on a second. All right. <laughs> I don't know where that pincher bug came from. All right. So now we just unboxed the uh, um, the mini PC, right? And then what I also wanted to look at was a bracket. Now, as I explained earlier, I want to use this mini PC as kind of like a server. And I found this bracket on uh, Amazon. So I'm going to use this bracket to be able to mount it underneath my desk. And so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on here, but being that we just unboxed uh, that we just unboxed that mini PC, I want to show you guys this um, this bracket real quick because this is another option. So if you're considering buying a mini PC, um, then also consider getting a bracket because another way you can mount this mini PC is underneath your desk and then you won't see it. So you could either mount it behind your monitor with um, the cell brackets for that. Uh, this one here is to mount underneath your desk, um, which is what I'm planning to do with this here. So let me go to my overhead cam. All right, so here it is here. So basically this, um, these pieces come together. Um, I'm gonna have to check the instructions. On, oh, they go this way, here we go. So these pieces come together like that and then uh, it has various holes here. And then you're gonna be able to line those holes up to the mini PC and then screw the mini PC into this. Or you can leave it loose depending on how you're going to mount this underneath your desk. Uh, Cause you might be able to just put the brackets in like this and then slide the mini PC underneath. Um, and then maybe use some uh, command tape or something to hold it in place uh, if the screws don't line up perfectly. So there's a bunch of ways you can use this. And I just realized, I didn't know this, but you can also use this same bracket to be able to mount it um, behind the monitor. So using this here, this bracket here, uh, you can put it onto the, the, um, the bracket like this. And then this goes into those monitor poles. So that's another way you can mount it. I didn't realize that this bracket also will allow you to mount it onto a monitor uh, arm. Very cool. Oh, you know what? Uh, my mistake. Actually, that is the one I chose. I thought I picked the one that goes underneath your desk, but now I remember. I, 
I grabbed the, the bracket that actually mounts onto a monitor uh, pole. Yeah, I, I've had this for about a, almost two weeks now, and I kind of forgot which one I chose. I, I was torn between the monitor that will can go underneath the desk and the one that goes on those uh, monitor arms, and I went with the monitor arms. Totally forgot about that. Anyhow, those two options are available, by the way, but uh, just want to show you guys that real quick here. Let's move on to the laptop. And I'm sticking to the theme here, and the theme being what I've already said a few times, and that is uh, the majority of people don't need super high-powered machines uh, to be able to consume content. Uh, the majority of people, you know, you, you, all you need a computer for is just to check your email, to look at some YouTube videos, uh, browse the internet, you know, maybe uh, watch movies either through Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime Video or Hulu or any of those uh, Disney Plus, any of those services. You don't need super high powered computers for that stuff. Or if you just need simple word processing, same thing. Matter of fact, with Google Docs, you know, whether it's uh, the spreadsheets or the docs, you can run that off of a browser now. You don't even need... Uh, specified software to be installed on your computer anymore i mean that's just that's just uh how far computers have come now so in terms of power if you're not doing video editing photo editing any tasks like that that take a lot of processing power you really don't need a machine that is expensive and really specced up All you really need is a real simple machine. And this one here, you know, I'm not thrilled at this laptop only having 8 gigs of RAM. But, again, for simple tasks, that should be plenty. All right, in here we're getting the instruction. Uh, oh, it looks like it's product information. It's probably warranty. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at the accessories now. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat room and we can discuss them either on this uh, laptop or any of the products that we've unboxed so far. All right, so we've got the charger here. So this is, uh, looks like it's gonna be proprietary. So it's got a DC connector there, and then the AC connection here, and then the AC cord there. It's a bummer that it's not USB Type-C. Almost everything charges through USB Type-C nowadays. Uh, that would have been a good thing, but it's a proprietary DC connector. So you got to make sure you use that charger. All right. So we've got another, it looks like a technical support card there. And here is the laptop. Now this laptop, I believe, has an i5 processor. The problem is on the Amazon page, they don't really give you a lot of specs on this laptop. All I know is that it's an i5 processor and it has 8 gigs of RAM. Um, and the screen size is, I think, a 15. Let me see here. It is a, yeah, 15 inch screen. And it's supposed to be an IPS display. Uh, and it's HD, so it's not like a 4K display or anything like that. All right, so here it is here. Let me flip it over so you guys can see it. Comes with a nice little cover there to protect the screen. So there's the screen there. Looks like we get a, um, a webcam here, built-in camera there. Here's a full-size keyboard, and, and it also has a uh, number keypad on the side, which is kind of cool. Um, a lot of laptops don't come with that anymore. Uh, I noticed that PCs are the ones that come with this, but... Um, as I said, it has an i5 Intel processor. Um, graphics shows that it has the Intel Iris Xe uh, graphics. Got the trackpad here, nice size there. And it looks like you get the speakers running up on top here, power button there. Very cool. And of course you got the HP logo, Chrome logo right there. Underneath you've got uh, rubber feet here. And then the uh, the vent right here to be able to exhaust the heat coming out of this laptop now in terms of ports let's take a look at those here real quick back out this camera if you guys have any questions let me know in the chat room 
Uh, all right, here we go. So we got an HDMI out, which is cool. You're going to be able to plug in an external display onto this. So you got a USB type C connector, but I don't believe that. Yeah, that's not going to be a Thunderbolt connection. I believe, let me look at the specs here real quick. It's going to be a USB, I think a USB 3.0. Yeah, see, they don't really provide a lot of information on it so once i do get this uh, laptop fired up I'll, I'll get all the specs and i'll add that into my full review once i do have my review um completed on this all right so we get the looks like a power led there and then a hard drive or ssd led there you get a headphone jack here and then you get a micro or a uh, sd card slot there that's very cool on the flip side you've got two more usb ports here and then the uh, power connection here. On the back, nothing there, nothing on the front. And then, uh, so you get these vents here probably to suck the air in, and then you get some vent ventilation in here as well. All right, so then on the bottom side, we get two screws. I don't know if any of the parts are gonna be um, upgradable, but I'm gonna check that out and see uh, what it shows. So. Overall, um, it's a pretty slim laptop, you know, uh, for what it is. And as I said, you know, as a consumption device, this should be plenty of power, especially an i5. An i5 uh, is a, a pretty good CPU to be able to handle most uh, tasks. So, yeah, let me flip my camera over here. You can see that the screen, the bezels aren't bad. You know, you got pretty minimal bezels here on the sides. The largest bezels here up on top and that's probably because it has that camera there and then you've got the uh this bezel down here not too bad uh but overall this looks like a pretty good uh consumption device uh, i'm going to be testing this out and then i'll be adding my full review on my amazon page so again i would encourage you to follow me on amazon i've got a ton of products that i'm going to be unboxing as I said, you know, I'm a tech enthusiast, so I'm into a bunch of different tech, uh, everything from computer tech to photography to videography, um, I, you know, just everything tech related. Uh, some of the products I'm going to be unboxing tomorrow are going to be um, photography equipment. I've got lights. I've got, uh, let me see, soft boxes. I've got stands. I've got dollies. I've got a bunch of stuff. And then I uh, also have some... Uh, some decorative lighting such as kind of like this blue lighting right here that I'm going to be unboxing as well some RGB stuff and then I also have a drone um, it's not a DJI drone it's a different brand uh, but it looks like a pretty good drone so I'm looking forward to trying that out in addition to that I also got a Thunderbolt 3 uh, hub that I'm going to be unboxing that has a really cool design and as i said you know some of the stuff that i love to unbox here on amazon live is either tech that is very useful kind of like this or tech that looks different let me give you a real quick preview let me grab that that thunderbolt uh, hub real quick now for those of you familiar with max you'll recognize this design here so this is what the hub looks like very cool so that's what really drew my attention to this one so i wanted to check it out so i'm going to be unboxing this one very soon so definitely follow me on amazon that way we can connect there when i do go live uh if you have the app installed on your phone uh and you follow me you'll get notified when i do go live or you'll be able to see my past uh, broadcasts as well if you guys don't have any questions here i'm going to go ahead and scoot out i uh really thank you guys for joining me here today uh and I hope to see you guys uh, tomorrow. I'll be going live again, um, unboxing some more stuff. All right, folks, I am out of here. Thank you guys for joining me. Adios.